Hello, my name is Jennifer Dixon with Thrive Yoga and Wellness and Thrive Online. Today we're going to be talking about a balance posture. <clears throat> Basically, this is the very first standing balance pose you'll probably have in a beginner's yoga class. It's called tree pose, vrikshasana. When I was first learning yoga, I thought it was impossible to say words without vowels. And so, yeah, traveling with me is a lot of fun because if there's too many vowels, then I'm just like lost. Or if there's not enough vowels, I'm lost. Anyways, so Vrikshasana, VRK. So it's a super fun one to spell, a super fun one to say. Vrikshasana tree pose. Now, here's the secret with balance. The harder the surface, the easier it'll be for you to balance. Conversely, the softer the surface, the harder it'll be for you to balance. It makes you have to work a lot more, all these belly muscles, all of these muscles in your legs, to be able to balance when your surface is very, very soft. So if you're new to yoga or if you have terrible balance, because trust me, I get this all the time in the studio, try to maybe come up off the mat, practice, um, practice your balance like on the hardwood floors of your house or maybe on the tile surface in your bathroom. Practice on a hard surface. The harder the surface, the easier it'll be for you to get these balance poses. And then once you've got it on a hard surface, start to work your way up to more challenging surfaces, which are softer like your yoga mat. All right, so vrik, for Vrikshasana, first thing you want to think about, your toes are facing forward. So oftentimes our anatomy, our anatomy are have our feet coming out, maybe we're pigeon-toed, all of this sort of stuff. So with yoga, we're working on balancing the body, right? Bringing the, all of the parts into balance. So I tend, my hips tend to go out like this, then my hips tend to flare out. So if I'm not paying attention, my balance poses will be where my right, my toes are facing out and then I'm balancing. And honestly, it starts out being easier to balance that way because my hips are like that. However, I'm using yoga to help correct some of my structural imbalances as well as all, all sorts of other imbalances in life. So I'm gonna focus on toes facing forward, facing you. Step one in tree pose, with the knee slightly softened, don't lock your knee, you bring that left ankle, just that left heel just above the right ankle. Hips stay square to the front, chest is proud, belly's in, elbows, our shoulders are down and away from the ears, and you can have your hands at heart center, or you can be reaching up. Hands up is a lot more difficult with balance. Step two, left foot on your left quad, not quad, calf. Now again, hips are still square, belly still in, left knee now is facing towards the left a little bit more. Hands can be here at your heart center or they can be reaching up, remembering to keep the shoulders down and away from the ears. You can do whatever you want with your hands, it's okay. Step three, and this is the most challenging one, but it's also the most fun. Your left foot's gonna come all the way up onto your inner thigh as high as it possibly can go. So ankle, calf, or high up onto the inner thigh. So I'm gonna grab my left heel and put it at the very top of my right thigh. Now, if you notice, I kinda got wobbly and I snapped my fingers. For me, that is my secret sauce for balance. Snapping fingers, for some reason, helps me to stay balanced. Your hands are here at the heart center or they can be reaching up. Now check it out, my shoulders are reaching forward and my hips are reaching forward. My belly's in and my chest is proud. My toes are active. My toes are really active, feeling the ground, moving around. And guess what guys, my glutes, my butt muscles, they're active too, they're holding me up. My knee is soft, my right knee is soft, it's not locked out. Because a locked out knee equals more challenging balance. When it's bent a little bit, you have a better opportunity to absorb some of those changes in balance. Let's try that again with the left foot. Remember, left toes are facing forward. This first step one, right heel above left ankle, belly's in, tailbone's down, hips are square, right knee's going out towards the right. Step two, right foot up on the left calf, really working that inner thigh stretch of the right, and tailbone down, belly's in. Step three is that right heel goes as high as you can get it up onto the left inner thigh. Let me roll my pants up and maybe you can see it better. So grab that right foot, pull it as high as you possibly can onto that left inner thigh, and then press that right heel into the left leg. Now here's another secret to balance. This right leg may not be pressing onto the right foot, might not be on the ground, but it is still actively pressing into the left foot. The more that you press that right heel into the left leg, the better your balance is gonna be. That's like circling all of your energy 
in. All of your weight, everything's going in as you press that right heel into your left thigh. Likewise, the same thing on the other side. So the right knee is going out, hips are open, the headlights facing forward. Shoulders are forward, chest is proud, belly's in. Your hands can be here at your heart center or they can be reaching up. So did you guys notice one place that I did not put my foot? My balancing foot never went anywhere near the knee. You might see this in yoga pictures a lot where that foot's on the knee. That is so dangerous. Your knee is built to go forward and back, right? It's a hinge joint. It's not like the shoulder, which can go in all different directions, or the hip can go in all different directions. The knee just wants to go forward and back. If you push it to the side, that can lead to knee injury, and nobody wants knee injuries, right? So when you're working your tree, you take it ankle, calf, above the knee as high up onto the thigh as you possibly can pressing that left foot the balancing foot into the standing foot as much as you can that will help you to balance the standing leg the knee is soft remember no pressure on that knee I'll do it on the other side just to make sure right ankle right heel above left ankle above the or on the calf above the knee high up onto the inner thigh left heel is pressing into the uh, right Right heel is pressing into the left inner thigh as much as you can, trying to open up the right inner thigh, hips are square, chest is proud, hands can be up, heart center, the hands can be doing whatever they want to do, it doesn't matter. Thank you so much for coming and practicing with me today. I hope you had fun, maybe you tried something new, maybe you learned something new, and I can't wait to see you inside the studio or online very, very soon. Again, my name is Jennifer Dixon with Thrive Yoga and Wellness and Thrive Online, and until the next time, go in peace. Namaste.